Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Juice Manji, Big Lechuga, Big Husband Maine. And this is the beginning of a new segment. It's going to be Juice Manji's story time, where I share mostly sneaker-related stories, but stories about anything, really. Um, and this first one, if you guys followed my old blog, uh, I mentioned, and I've mentioned it on the channel as well, that my dad was a manager trainer for Foot Locker when I was a kid. And my love for kicks was born in those Foot Lockers, spending all those days at work with my dad, running around the store and the stock room, climbing the ladders and looking at all the kicks. You know, the shit was so much fun. Uh, the best part of having your dad work for Foot Locker is obviously like the sneaker sneaker related perks, but one of my other favorites were the wild stories. Stories about theft, you know, crazy purchases, uh, Jordan lines were all common. Um, those were all, you know, some good stories, but my favorite recurring stories that he always seemed to have uh, were about when celebrities would show up at stores, uh, you know, whether they were assholes, whether, whether they were real cool, you know, all kinds of stuff. My dad was always assigned to the high volume stores in the LA area, uh, so it was a common thing to see celebrities come in, uh, but this one is the best one. Uh, it was sometime in the early to mid 90s, my dad was working at the Foot Locker, the World Foot Locker I should say, uh, in Thousand Oaks, California. For those of you who don't know about World Foot Locker, it was basically the specialty Foot Locker store before there was a house of hoops, it was massive. Um, all kinds of props and different kind of shit in the store. Um, as you can see by the picture that I've, that I've shown you guys, these stores were huge. It was real cool to me when I, he was working there. They had big screen TVs and treadmills, and the Thousand Oaks Mall was crazy at the time. It was like one of the bigger malls in, in all of California, I think. Um, so it, it had all kinds of crazy shit, 90s shit at the time. Uh, so this is my favorite Foot Locker that my dad worked at. Uh, one day at the store, Laser from American Gladiators come in. If you don't w know about uh, American Gladiators or Laser, I'm going to show you guys a quick uh, little video. Laser, uh, he came in wanting to return a pair of shoes. Uh, I think it was like uh, some Agassiz or some cross trainers. Uh, they were definitely Nikes though from, from that time period. Uh, no big deal, uh, except the shoes he had worn, the, he, he worn them and he didn't have a receipt. I guess he rocked them all day even though they didn't fit him right. Uh, he tried to play the whole, do you know who I am type angle with the, with the cashier girl, whatever, got rude with her. She wouldn't let him return the kicks and Laser asked to speak to a manager. So the girl called my pops over. Dad's like, what well, seems to be the problem? Laser goes, I want to return these. You know, I don't see what's the problem. And my dad's like, well, I can maybe help you out if you had the receipt, but you're trying to return some shoes that you wore without a receipt. There's nothing we can do for you. Laser does the whole, do you know who I am? Shit again. My dad's like, it doesn't matter who you are if you don't have a receipt. He goes, well, these shoes are defective. So you know, he hands the shoes to my dad. My dad looks them over gives them back to him. These aren't defective, sir. <laughs> At this point, this dude, I don't know, must be that 90s roid rage. Laser flips the fuck out, grabs the shoe, rips off the fucking tongue in the middle of the store and goes, now they are. At this point, <laughs> he's in full fucking roid rage, causing a scene in the store. He looked like he was ready to smash a glass display at that point. And my dad, I'm sure, you know, was fucking fearful of getting mollywopped in the middle of the fucking world full locker, but he did what he had to do and he told him, hey man, you gotta bounce, you gotta shake, or I'm not to call mall security to get you up out of here. Um, you know, to which point, you know, that 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 Roid Raid wore off laser kinda came to his senses like when fucking uh when the Incredible Hulk turns back into Bruce Banner uh, you know, and, and, and left the store and that was that was it. And my dad, I remember him calling me, you know, because he knew I liked American Gladiators, he told me the whole story. Uh, and I remember my dad just being pissed uh, the whole time. But you know, I was real proud of my pops. You know, he stood to, he stood up to an American Gladiator and didn't get the shit kicked out of him. So I was very proud of him um, for that. And I was also excited because I fucking hated Laser uh, even before that happened. He, he struck me as an asshole. He wasn't the Gladiator that I rooted for. Um, you know, I was all about Nitro. Nitro was that dude. Um, so you know, it was it was good. So fuck Laser. And, you know, Laser, if you if you see this. Man, fuck you, uh, you buff for no reason, motherfucker, man. Trying to intimidate female retail employees. Uh, get the fuck out of here.
But anyway, uh, that's one of that's one of many footlocker stories from my dad's time there, and I will be sharing more of them. I'll share other sneaker-related stories, just funny life stories um, from shit I, I've done, shit I've lived. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these stories. Let me know if you guys fuck with American Gladiators, any of your, any, anything you guys choose to share. Uh, let me know in the comments or at Juice Monty. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. I really appreciate the support. And I'll catch you all in the next vid. Peace.